Lunar landing success. Joining the U.S., Russia and China, India becomes the fourth country to achieve this feat. The moon mission capturing the attention of folks here at home in Space City and around the world. Our Andy Sirota picks up the story live in the newsroom tonight. Andy. Lisa, India is the first to land on one of the lunar poles. The Indian government making a long-term commitment to support and fund their space program. This is the U.S. moves forward with its plans to once again land on the moon. A giant step forward in a new chapter of space exploration for India as they land on an unexplored part of the moon. Scientists and officials clapped, cheered and hugged each other as the spacecraft landed on the lunar south pole. The country's prime minister waved the Indian flag as he watched the landing from South Africa, where he's attending a summit. This success belongs to all of humanity and it will help moon missions by other countries in the future. India is now the fourth country to land on the lunar surface, following Russia, the U.S., and China. They have their own plans in the next few years to uh, fly their own astronauts into space. They've developed advanced rockets and cryogenic engines. NASA and other space agencies are interested in the moon's south pole as it contains ice and may be rich in other resources. India's lunar landing comes days after Russia's first robotic mission in nearly 50 years, which failed when the spacecraft spun out of control and crashed on the moon's surface. As part of NASA's Artemis II mission, the U.S. is set to fly four astronauts around the moon in late 2024. It will follow the unmanned Artemis I mission, which completed a nearly month-long journey around the moon late last year. The series of flights in the Artemis program racing to reach its goal of having boots on the lunar surface by 2025. Space City certainly playing its part with several Houston based companies working with NASA to make it happen. Live in the newsroom tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News. Very exciting time. All right. Thank you, Andy.